In one life trade program, we work tirelessly to reduce trade-related threats that impact on the survival of one animal and plants. We continuously explore innovation, approaching an opportunity to achieve this goal. We focus our initiative on five thematic areas, prevention, detection, justice, governance, and use. This video will highlight our work over the last years to ensure that the proper and responsible, responsible governance of South Africa wildlife is achieved and promoted. We are well on our way to meet our objective that by 2023, targeted initiatives are undertaken to support proper policy and government apply to at least three traded species. Over the last year, we submitted extensive comment on the legislation in fact several treated species include rhino, elephant, lion. These comments include proper amendment to the alien and invasive species list, proposed amendment to the list of critical endangered, endangered, vulnerable and protected species, drafted regulation related to the domestic trade in rhinoceros horn, drafted notification prohibiting the carrying out of certain restricted activity involving rhinoceros horn, promote proposed amendment to the norms and standard for the making of rhino and rhino horn. We submitted extensive comments on CITES agenda item that the South Africa Management Authority should consider in preparation for CITES COP18 and we participated in CITES 2019 in Geneva. We also participate in meeting to form the 2019 Lion Bones Quarter and Leopard Hunting Quarter and submitted extensive comment following these meetings. Our environmental rights call on government to ensure the environmental is protected and present for future generation. This includes the duty on governance to ensure conservation is promoted. The work undertaken in our government's thematic area support government in meeting this mandate and holds government to account where decisions are taken that do not meet this constitutional appreciation.